Hey kids, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the Australian Desert Zoo. Uh, in this episode, what we're going to do is we're going to put in some uh, warthogs. And as you can see, I've already started uh, terraforming this area. You know, kind of just getting it to where I wanted it to be before we started putting in the animals. Um, if this is your first time on my channel, then welcome aboard. If you've been here before, welcome back. Either way, I do appreciate your time and your attention. I'm just going to get right on into putting in this new habitat. We're going to put it, like I said, right here. And I want it to be fairly flat, but even along these areas. That's why I'm doing it. All right. So as usual, we are going to be putting in the null barrier first. And this is going to be a pretty simple arrangement, i got to tell you. It's, it's not going to be very complicated. Warthogs are, are pretty easy to do, um, though they are kind of a good luck charm for me. I do like to include warthogs in my zoo. Um, you know, they're a nice basic animal. Everybody likes warthogs, even though they're, they're kind of low on the appeal rating for some reason. I don't know. I, I, I love them. I think they're great. But, you know, as I'm constantly saying, I am a different kind of cat. Let's bring this down here. Yeah, let's not... I One of the things that I really hate is how the camera just jerks along whenever I'm putting a fence in. I don't want to do that. I want to come back over here. That's right. And then I'm going to go across like so. You know, I'm not trying to do any jerky camera movements, but Unfortunately, the game itself is not letting me not do it because that's the way the camera works when I'm putting in. Hold on a second. Camera, 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 camera. Free camera, follow, follow and center, follow and rotate, follow and center. Let's try follow and center, see what that does. Okay, it's almost as good. That's better, at least it's not quite as jerky. All right, so I've got the barrier in place. What we're going to do to close off this habitat is I'm going to put down a shorter wall. As you can see, this wall is, th th this habitat's already sunken. So what I want is basically to take this piece, and yes, I put this piece in as a test, um, and bring it around all, you know, th th throughout the entire side. Let me, uh, let me do this first. there. Hopefully they won't be able to jump up on that, but knowing my luck, they will. All right. Hmm. Okay, so what I'm trying to do, like I said, is I'm trying to basically just give this inner edge a bit of a brick wall, and I'm going to fix the terrain here once we get this wall in. Animal has escaped. Oh, great. Okay. Who is it? One of the koalas? The koala hasn't escaped. It's climbed. This is a bug. I thought they had fixed that bug, but apparently it has come back in one of the uh, in one of the, the updates, which you know always fun. Let's get that terrain. Oh, for crying out loud! Really, is this what I'm going to have to do? Okay, hold on. Hmm. 
know what? Okay. There. See? It's right there. It's in the middle of the, the habitat. It has not escaped. I don't know why I'm getting escape notices for George and the other koalas. It's annoying. But, I mean, what can you do, right? All right. So we're going to put this wall all the way around the habitat, like so. And it turned out, you know, okay, I'm going to have to delete, you know, it, it turns out that I might have had to have deleted the actual null barriers, but that's okay. I will, I will readjust the null barriers. I don't care. I'm, you know. It's a good idea. I've, ha I've had this good idea, and it's going to look good. So. Um, right, so. Hope everybody's having a good day. I'm having an okay day. The weather is playing tricks on me. It's either way too dry, and thus I have a sinus headache, or it's raining and my arthritis is hurting. There's no happy med medium. Either way, I'm kind of screwed, but you know what? That's okay. I actually prefer the rain, even though it does make my joints ache, because, um, you know, it, it's better than a sinus ache. Plus, it cools things down here, and, you know, Florida in the summertime, I don't know if any of you guys have ever come down here for vacation, but geez, it really is an oven. And now that, you know, climate change is making our summers hotter, it's, uh, it's rough. It can be rough down here. That's, you know, that's to be expected. It's the price I pay for not having to shovel snow out of my out of my driveway every year. And believe me, that is an important consideration. I spent um, several uh, several winters in Kansas where, you know, it snows. I don't know if anybody out there is listening is living in Kansas or the Missouri area, but I pity you for your winters. I remember the year that it got down to like 60 below with wind chill, and I was like, there, it's impossible for human beings to exist in this environment. It, it really, seriously, it was horrible. And, uh, you know, I didn't want to have any part of it at all. All right, let's see. This is coming along pretty good, and it's not taking too much time. Warthogs, thankfully, don't need a lot of fencing. Um, so I can get away with doing things like this, where I'm basically just, you know, putting a, a short garden wall up. But I do want to do this, just because these the, these two pieces here are um, a, a little low. So I'm going to bring one of them up to about there. And I'll bring this one up to about there too. I'm going to put fences on top of these, don't worry. So, you know, there will be a fence, but, um, in the meantime, bad. Yeah, 
not at all straight, but you know, it doesn't have to be. That's the neat thing. Okay, let's adjust the barrier so that it f runs along the fence now. All right. I wonder if I can, can I just, no, it's too long. Is that what it is? It's too long. Can you believe it? It's too long. That's okay. Okay. And down the front, we can just do this far as it'll reach. Is that as far as it'll reach? Will it go further? No, it won't go further. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to come back over here, excuse me, and I'm going to drop this back some to, say, about there. Right about... Whoops, come on. I don't know what's I don't know why it's giving me so many problems tonight, but it's giving me some control problems. I can't believe that um, you know it, it can't be that we're having lag problems already because this zoo does not have as many pieces as say the adventure jungle zoo. And that zoo ran just fine. It may be that I've got some background process that's eating up all my processing time you know, some background program that I haven't uh, figured out that I need to turn off. Either way, let's get rid of that. Let's... <sighs> okay. Okay, we're going to put the entrance here, and yes, they will be able to get through that wall. We know that from experience. Let's put down a path. Okay, my cheetahs need to be thinned out a little because they are fighting. There's too many cheetahs. We can handle that. All right. Let's take care of that real quick, in fact. All right, what do we got? Let's look at our cheetah population, shall we? Animals. No, not research, animals. Thank you. Um, cheetahs. Cheetahs, okay, we've got eight, six, two, and two. These are brother and sister, so I cannot leave them in the same habitat mated. So we're gonna release her in the wild. And we are going to release this young man to the wild. For that matter, I noticed that we had one too many aardvarks. We may need to um, replace our aardvarks soon. They are getting old, but that's all right. Uh, there we go. That should just about do it. So let me go back to this. Um, construction. Thank you. We want doors. Uh, one on a 
Australian door. Can I have an Australian door? Is there an Australian door? There does not appear to be an Australian door. Okay, since I can't have an Australian door, I will take... How about a North African door? Well, it's nice, but it's not it's not doing the thing that doors are supposed to do. Okay, well, you know what? I can force it to do the thing that doors are supposed to do, which is snap to the surface. That might have something to do with it. Yeah, look at that. Did you see that? Uh, somehow the position snap had been turned off. I don't get it, but that's all right. And we will rotate you around so it looks like you're a door. Back you up to the stone wall. Okay. Now, like I said, I, I assure you they can uh, go through that. So let's look at warthogs, shall we? You know what? I forget. They're common warthogs. Duh. Okay, common warthogs. Confirm. Alright, let's see. We're going to take this young gentleman. And then we will take this young lady. Well, then, then we'll take her. She's a little older. But she's the only other female, and I want one male and two females. So let's, while we're waiting for them to show up, let's look at the habitats. You know, let's look at things that we can do while we're waiting. So we got common warthogs. All right, um, shelters. We have any good looking caves? No, we do not. Oh, there's always the shelter canopy. Large. Taiga, no. Well, there's this thing. It doesn't look too horrible. This is an Australian. Let's pause this for just a moment. Pause. Thank you. I did say pause. I said pause, and they immediately went right back to being themselves. So let's see. They prefer... Do I have any filters on? No. absolutely sure there's no caves in here that I could use. Oh, that's a cave building set, right. That's huge. Not exactly what I'm looking for. Okay. You know what? I bet you I can build them one.
think this is the smallest of the Australian shelter, or the, you know, this is the smallest of the Australian shelters, but it's not exactly what I want to use. That's not bad. I'll go ahead and use this. There we go. Now, all right. No, 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 no. There we go. Okay, we're going to give them a couple coolers because Jesus God, it's hot. Bring it up to 80. Okay, and we're going to copy it, put another one over here, we're going to copy that, put another one over here, and we're going to take one more, it's probably completely and totally irrelevant because they overlap but we're going to add it to right there. Now, I want to make sure that they're all set to 80. Yeah, they are. Okay. So, let's see what else. Toys. Well, they do like their foragers. Let's see. I think this is going to work out pretty well. I really do. Alright, and we'll give him a fruit spike tree over here, and we'll give him a barrel feeder back here. Now for toys, toys. Let's give him a, a, a tamarind scratching tree. Everybody likes a sprinkler. Some wind chimes. Yeah, it doesn't want to build anything over here. You know what? We'll give them some wind chimes back there. Everybody, everybody likes a cardboard box. And do we want to give them a mud bath? Do we have room for a mud bath? I wonder if we have room for a mud bath. Do we have room for a mud bath? They're not going to want to put a mud bath here. Well, maybe. No, no. Maybe back here? Right there. Let's move the bar the barrel feeder to
here. Or no, wait, you know what? Let's just move it entirely. We'll move it over here. Okay. Yeah, that, that, that looks better, I think. Okay. Well, that's it for toys and things. Let's see what they need. Um, okay, they need short grass. They need long grass. They need less soil. You got it. All right, let's turn this back on. Long grass. I'm going to put long grass in the back, along the back wall. Let's get this a little larger. Not that large. Okay. And short grass we're going to put up here. There we go. Now, how are the plants looking? The plants are just fine. The enhancement's just fine. Everything is just fine, guys. There we have it. That is our warthog habitat. We are done with it very quickly. Mechanic can't reach habitat. I know. I need to adjust the zones and all that number. I will do that off camera. But folks, we have ourselves some happy little piggies. So there you have it. Tell me what you think. I am going to put up some more fencing. I am going to put some more signs up. I'll do that off camera. And uh, you know, I'm going to adjust a couple of things, tweak it just a little. But otherwise, I think this is working out pretty, pretty fine. Pretty fine. Um, I don't like the fact that this is bunching up. I probably need to put in some vista points because, geez, this is ridiculous. Oh, for crying out loud, can you believe this? I adopted two injured warthogs. I hate when the game does that. It's like, haha, -ha, we're going to fool with you. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you, um, you know, for watching. I had fun doing this. It was much faster than normal. That's okay. Sometimes that's how it works. If you have any uh, any thoughts, any opinions, what I'm going to do off camera is I'm going to add a second fence to this uh, brick row here, just a simple log fence along the top. I'm going to connect it to a uh, I'm going to connect this uh, this habitat to a work zone, so it'll actually have people take care of, taking care of it, and. Uh, I think it's going to be fantastic. I think it's pretty good right now. Let me know what you think. In the meantime, guys, please be safe while you're out there. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.